Hey guys, Super Chef here. Um, just a quick video. Made a really quick uh, block crack or head gasket failure detection tool. So um, this is made basically with things around my shop. I'll give you a quick little demo of it. So basically, I just had a spray bottle, piece of clear hose, and the and a turkey baster. Now, my lucky for my luck, the turkey baster fit directly into my spout I put the block testing fluid in the bottom of this here jug and I just ran the car made sure that it didn't pop out and that coolant wasn't getting sucked into this clear hose the top is open for air to let whatever expand or you know um, this is what I found at the dollar store I've had it for years I use it for sucking cool or um, brake fluid out of things or power steering fluid out so I just drill the hole in it on the workbench put this plastic hose in into this bottle here now the fluid starts out kind of like a um, two-stroke gas blue-ish and if you have a so here it is I don't know if you can see that through the bottle uh, dang it uh, you kind of see it it's kind of bluish see maybe even if you look inside get you to focus anyway kind of see the color of blue that it's supposed to be it's like that and that is a test that's testing positive for combustion gases in the fuel now you could buy one of these testers for I don't know 40 60 bucks off of um, Harbor Freight Princess Auto uh, Part stores, whatever. Some part stores loan them out as well, but this will get you by. Like I said, it's just a piece of hose, and you can see the fluid in there turn to yellow. If it turns yellow or green, you've basically got combustion gases in your coolant, thus meaning possibly a head gasket failure. Now, my head gasket failure, it will be due to the car had a broken uh, valve for the climate control or for the heater core leaked out all my coolant um, I thought there was still coolant in the system it skyrocketed the temperature and basically I'm assuming blew out the head gasket I won't find out until I peel the shit apart and I just redid this head gasket this summer I won't blame it on the head gasket I got a new head gasket and ARP studs in there I will blame it on myself for not um, catching the empty coolant until it was too late so that's it's basically my fault but anyway that's it there this was just a recycled old bottle you can use a water bottle anything this is a stiff plastic which accepted that hose very nicely the hose diameter doesn't necessarily matter I guess particularly you'd want something um, like a 3 8 hose that way you get like quicker bubbly readings and the turkey baster was really just something that had kicking around that fit in the end of the, the what do you call it in the radiator so I'm pretty disappointed right now because now I gotta take the engine apart find out if the block is cracked or if the head is cracked if the blocks cracked I'll be going with a 2JZ GE um, block and doing the work to make it work for the GTE uh, over the winter but it's very disappointing for me because I was just about to give this car a full body and paint now I'm not sure what I want to do I don't really want to drive it one more year like this with stone chips and it's starting to get a couple little rust spots here or there get them now while I can but anyway the video was basically about making a quick block leak testing device so this one worked for what it was um, I made it in a matter of like two minutes in my shop basically because I had the parts laying around um, but yeah bottle hose rubber thingy that fits in there put the hose in run the run the engine so that the combustion gases go up this hose into your little fluid there that you can see at the bottom make sure the hose is submerged like you see there and you'll get your reading whether it's positive or negative hopefully it's negative for you and you just made the tool just uh, for fun so Thanks for watching, hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, subscribe for more content. I'm guessing I'll be posting a lot more now that I'll be re-re-re-pulling the engine out of this car to redo the head gasket.
or the bottom end. I'll also be cleaning up some stuff underneath there as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and see you in the future.